Hi there, this is Spotty Spotty Cat and today, oh just wait for the car to go by Today we're at Grassland Seek Tick Centre and, uh, and look it has a tower and everything and so we'll just walk up the hill and um, into the entrance in the yard We've got our Ukraine flag out and uh, yeah Right, and into the car parking in the yard. And the yard is looking really, really, really interesting at the moment. And uh, uh, we've got some really, really um, interesting lumps of salvage and architectural oddities. And they're uh, lovely, those millstones. Oh, dear me. How did, how, did, how did they even get here? They're so heavy. And... Uh, also a really good selection of um, outside ornaments, garden ornaments, and uh, so on. There really is a, a lot of... And once they start going a bit green and, and, and crusty or whatever, they, you know, the concrete just assumes a patina. <laughs> I don't know. There's some plants as well. They're sporadic, they come, they go. Um, uh, a couple of people here, um, um, uh, there were all, no, three or four people up here bring up plants, and it just sort of depends a bit on the season. And there's a few pots there, and um, oh, I'm gonna go into, oh, what's this? This is the dark corner. Oh, let's not talk too much about that. And, um, and round we go. And um, we've got um, a newly waterproofed, um, GP shelves as well. We've also got a set of stocks. Um, oh, I could think of a lot of people I'd like to put in there, but anyway. And blah, 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 blah. And they, yeah, they warned me not to do it after last time. And, um, but anyway, um, great selection of uh, most of this stuff is like 50 pence or a quid. Uh, not all of it, but most of it. And uh, no faces, no places, but there's a nice pair of shoes. And, um, I don't know. Lovely retro, uh, uh, retro um, uh, 50s light shade there. Anyway, let's get into a couple of retro stools. And, um, oh, Victorian china. Some of this china is like three or four quid, you know, 150 year old. And the jug's beautiful. So is the tureen as well. I always think tureens are undervalued these days because uh, a milk churn, a couple of just nice, very, very usable uh, caravan, patio chairs. Anyway, let's go in and uh, ramp and um, and and and, and uh, this is um, this is the first store we're going to talk about. No faces, no places. And uh, this is just beyond. This is a biscuit tin. And uh, first thing you want to do is try and open it. But it has never, ever, ever been opened. And if I if I can do this with two hands. Um, if I just try and tip it up. You can see underneath there's a great big hole. Now that would have been the seal underneath it to sort of keep them fresh and um and someone has taken all the biscuits out of this tin through that hole and i uh, but uh, you know you see a lot of um uh these old biscuit tins and they sat in racks they opened them up and sat them in racks um this is just beyond in terms of in terms of condition it is just beyond. It's as perfect as you ever would get. Um, uh, this has to be um, a hundred year old small rich tea. I know rich tea. I've never heard of small rich. Anyway, I love that to bits. That's one of my favourite things at the moment. And um, and we have, you know, we have stuff. We have uh, stuff in cabinets. We have militaria. I don't understand militaria. Uh, we have a torso in the window. And um, let's see what else is um, intriguing. <clears throat> oh, there's, um, there's a really nice inlaid um, expanding bookshelf. You know, they come this way and they do that. <laughs> and there's also, oh, this is a boxwood protractor. And um, yeah, 
and and and. It's the uh, it's play, it's play. Made in England. Don't know who by. Um, I think it's government because it's got the um, arrow down the bottom. So it's probably um, Her Majesty's or His Majesty's stationery office at one time, and um, and more bits and pieces, etc., etc., etc. And we're going round the corner, and um, and 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 uh, this is quite industrial um uh our ladies with this and i tell you what i do love I, you know almost as good as they get for paint splash step ladders and um uh, yeah that's what you sort of want and especially with the sort of uh, you know nice clean steps on as well they are um and Shabashi Kitchen Madness, they are just so good. So, so nice. And, and, and. and there's um, interesting other bits as well. And, uh, and uh, all right, I'm not going to say and uh, again. I better do, though. Um, tools, 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 tools. And some of those big petrol can things these are interesting these just great big blocks of wood for various reasons you know um and just nice objects anyway aren't they i want to say and uh, duh, duh, but i'm not allowed to um there's some yarn there's uh, a, a yokes and then this is a, this coming down here is a set of hames which uh, after they went around working ponies pit ponies and uh, so on, and uh, but oh, lovely, lovely industrial stuff, and 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 linen, and on and on and on we go, um, and 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 the small bits uh, in the alcove, and uh, then the bring bring oh someone wants us, and this is fabulous, this is um. I thought originally perhaps this might have been Tunbridge Ware, which was the, anyway, it's famous stuff. Um, uh, uh, I don't know, but this actually is Sorrento Ware. Um, but the inlay, that is all little square pieces of wood um, inlaid. It's um, a jewelry box, uh, I should imagine from the 1920s, something like that. And it has little bits here. And it even has its key. Um, Oh, that's fab. I wonder what's on that. Um, that's sixty-five pound. Which sixty-five pound is 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 um is uh, it's enough money, isn't it? But for what that is, oh, it's tough and saving. That is so beautiful. Uh, let's go around these jugs. I loved. Uh, they they're sort of sponge rare and daub. Um, and um, uh, there's a pair of them. But you know, I actually prefer. This side, that's sponge wear, um, and probably blown with a straw as well, you know, just to make a tree and a few daubs on. And, uh, and there's a pair of them. And, uh, God, that's six pound fifty each. And uh, they've got to be, I don't know, 1870, 1890, something like that. And onwards we go. And we've got cauldrons and we've got black pots and, uh, and by the fire hearth. And uh, around and around we go. More smokes. More china. And, oh, then in the case, there's a fab enamel sign. Ah, uh, you know, <clears throat> new bolio soap, new bolio soap. Uh, a safe disinfectant. What well, as opposed to the dangerous ones, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, maybe in those days, you know, you needed to be reassured. And, um, uh, that's going to be, um, I should think about 1910-ish. Enamel signs are not cheap. I'm not going to tell you how much that is. I've, um, I'm uh, just wiping away the sweat. Um, but uh, they go, uh, you know, they're um, really desirable. Lovely pair of little silver dogs in there in front of the white horse. And, and, and round we go. Hope that's not too, um, too quick. And then... Ah, we've got more bits. There's some really interesting planes in there. And, um, and, 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 and two brass Scotty Dog bookends. And then there's also, whoops, watch my fingers. 
all the way down here, there's a selection of cars. And we're going around the corner. I still love that Staffordshire sheep and spill vase at the back. That's going to be about 18, 1840, yeah. something like that. Uh, just <laughs> yeah, desirable objet trouvé of desire, and um, and and, and. Uh, there's some really really interesting little smalls here. And then uh, there's the alcove of books. And that sampler up the top, that's interesting. Oh, here we go then. I hope I won't make you dizzy. And, um, I, uh, and another sea of interesting things. I love these. These are Royal Crown Derby. Uh, there's, uh, I think there's five of them all told. And, um, uh, you know, that's a chinoiserie that you do get. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bone china. Just the most ridiculous, ridiculous quality. And uh, Mikado pattern. And um, and I think they're five pounds each. Um, and, 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 and. Oh, and these sort of Steinware jugs. Uh, you know, they're German sort of stoneware. But uh, you don't see jugs. You see a lot of... Um, Steins, you know, beer beer jugs with the metal tops on tops of. And anyway, off we go. Oh, shiny brass. Of course, that's a genuine Stradivarius, yeah. So hard to sell Stradivari these days. Um, and, 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 what's a hammer for? And, uh, and, 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 uh, and more smalls. Oh, I love that. Uh, that, um, Glass tulip. Oh, I love that. I have a thing at the moment about glass. I also love the uh, African ladies as well. And um, in... <laughs> this is so bad. And, um, and, 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 and onwards we go. Oh, there's another one of those tulips. And there's also a lovely luster... Staffordshire jug. I guess again about 1840, 1850. Oh, we're going to go upstairs in a minute. Let's carry on. Round the corner here. We have fabrics. Oh, these are Welsh quilts. Uh, not Welsh quilts, they're tapestry blankets. Um, we used to have a, a factory about 10 mile away. Um, they used to make those, but it's been closed down for a good 20 years. And um, uh, one of those blankets can easily make 125 quid. And then we've also got clothes, which I don't really understand a lot about. Um, but I do like this. I tell you what, that's really nice, really nice colours. as sort of, you know, country collection, a sort of theme on tweed. And, um, and onwards, lovely rooting lamp. It's about the same time I said andur again. I said andur, andur, andur. Kitschy little animals. And round we go again. And more and more and more. Cabinet's full of. And, um... You know, if you see anything interesting that you fancy, you can always ring the centre. And, um... And this is, again, one of my favourite, favourite things in the centre, um, uh, 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 which is um, a Victorian homily, but uh, it's just lovely. And that's about 1880, 1890, and uh, there's a pair of them. Uh, I just focused on the dad one. Anyway, off we go again. And uh, all the mirrors, all the mirrors, all the mirrors. And... Um, Sparkly bits of bling and all sorts. 
And now we're into the next unit, which has a lot of really, really quirky things. Because, um, and also the oil cans are good. I've never seen a Halford. And um, uh, they're surprisingly collectible, the old tin oil cans. And uh, oh, I love the dolly in the park. And a more what's a hammer for? A uh, nice copper shade. This is great as well. Uh, this is a um, um, Perspex chair. That is lovely mod. And I suppose maybe 80s, maybe 90s, maybe three years ago. And uh, but that's really, really modern. You can't call that postmodern, or could you? Um, the pastry mints are sad. <sighs> I desire that. Oh. And, 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 lots besides. My shelves are full. Mm. This unit has its own style. Oh, this retro lamp. Oh, this teak and brass retro lamp. That is right on message for the, you know, a certain now in terms of um, what we like to call the young people want. And, uh, and another nice pair of painted um, steps behind. This is great, how much is this? That's 38 quid, that's cheap, cheap, that's cheap. And um, a and, um, and nice watering can. Road signs. And we're going to head off down and round the corner again. Oh, I've just got to go back and revisit the pastry set. I am with a real mincer. Oh, go right round the corner. Let's get serious. And uh, a nice enamel jug. Nice little kicker shoes. And, uh, and off we go again. Good selection of Luster jugs. This is what they call a fountain. Are they a great job on top of your Rayburn if you've got one and leave them filled full of water? And then you can just uh, fill your electric kettle with them. And it, the electric kettle takes about sort of 30 or 40 seconds to boil. Um, at least that's what I used to do. When I had a Rayburn, I haven't got a range anymore. And uh, oh, this is full again of such interesting things. Ah, oh, that barometer, uh, as is, but oh, 38 pounds. That is so beautiful. You know, you could adapt that into all sorts of things. You could adapt that into a clock and it would be fab. And um, and something else that just caught my eye. Oh, these two chairs. Uh, there, there's a, 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 a pair of these for 65 quid. Solid mahogany, bang on about 1810, I would have said. And um, and a pair of them, and they are in good order as well. Absolute classic country flat-based chairs. Although not typical mahogany, they're usually in oak. All right. And we'll come round here and round here. I hope I didn't dizzy you up. And uh, all sorts, all sorts. Strange machines, what does that do? Meccano, and back round the corner again. Aluminium cookware. And some more china. Oh, I like that tin. Uh, just perhaps because I don't know it. It was um, household blender tea. I'm not too sure which, uh, which tea company. And, uh, oh, sorry, was I a bit off that while I was done? Anyway, nice, nice tin. And more smalls. And a lamp on top of a tree branch. What? Uh, and, um, and so on. A nice bit of cartonware. And, and, and is that a real dead fox? It probably is. Uh, probably says a hat though, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. No, I think that's um, 
Uh, I think that is, um, excuse my thumb, I think that is um, artificial fur, I think it is. And some more interesting clothes. Again, I don't know much about retro clothes. And then we come down to here, and um, then we got, oh, we got Laurel and Hardy, um, which look great. Don't they look like they're carved out of wood, but oh, they're not. They're, um, uh, I should imagine, all the way from China. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, stop here and we'll um, go upstairs next.